Yes, bless, bless, bless family. Back again. There's another topic. Talking about Brexit again. Right. So, you know, like, what happened? Have you seen what happened today in Liverpool? Like, it's crazy. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of diesel shortage. Do you know what I mean? Uh, diesel shortage. You go everywhere, do you know, like, the gas station, petrol station, or anything like that. You don't, you see, you see a car a parking up, you know what I mean? Ca car queuing up to get, to get some diesels, but whatever. People have, a lot of people having some fights and, and, and shit like that. But I think, why? Why is this really? Like, you know, that's Brexit again, because a lot of people saying that, oh, Brexit, I told you, uh, Brexit is Remainers, I told you about the situation, what's going to happen. These are shortages right now. Also, the other day in Liverpool here, they're saying that also, you know, kids, Unfortunately, bonfire is going to be... As, there's no firework. There's not going to be any fire, firework during that time. Why there's no fireworks? Because they're saying, again, transport. Transport is uh, it's up to, like, you know, reducing or increasing up to 70% as well because the imports, you can't find it. They have to, they're they going to have to get it all the way from China. And then Chinese, uh, they ask at least for, like, £5,000 for containers. <laughs> £5,000 of containers. I told you. I told you. Diesel shortages again. People are saying why? Why there's a diesel shortages? What what happened to uh, BP, British Petroleum Company? What happened to it? Why? Why? A lot of people are queuing up now because they're saying there's no lorry drivers, lorry drivers and things like that. So um, and I think uh, you need to train those lorry drivers because some of the uh, some people said uh, a lot of lorry drivers they need to go. You know they went back to Europe. They're not coming back again. So now. Imagine if you got a car, you're driving right now. You go, you go to, you go to the petrol station, and then you wanna, you wanna top up anything like that. If you can't find that, do you know Brexit? That's 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 really it is. I think that's the start of it. I, I'm not really sure, but I think that's the start. If you don't, if you don't think that's the start, guys, let me know because Brexit here is remainers. You know what I mean? It's just a game. That's what I said again. Just a game, and the relay they put you, but put you on that. You know the court or the ball, the ball in the court. Now people are just. Uh, Thinking about you know a lot of gas shortage, yeah, diesel shortage, and now they've got all the you know firework, you know bonfires. People don't want to like Liverpool festival is like a festival of light as well. You 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 see you see it right now. I think uh, the Liverpool City Council said okay we can't have we can't have we can't have uh, fireworks on that festival. Why? Because people need to get fireworks. You know, buy, uh, you want to buy firework, it doesn't work like that, guys, because cause there's a lot of shortages. There's a lot of shortages in this kind of stuff. If you want to buy firework, you're going to have to go all the way to China. And they'll go all the way to China, then imports. It costs a lot of money, costs a lot of money. Brexit costs, costs, costs the nation a lot of money right now, guys. What do you think? Because well, I personally, I, I don't know. I don't know. I knew this going to happen. I knew this going to happen, but many people don't know this. Uh, but... You gotta see that the, the the diesel shortages also coming as a result of that as well. It might not gonna be just the shortage of drivers or anything, because there's no lorry drivers in that. But I think it's gonna be a different thing. Like maybe maybe the diesel, the way you get it all the way from Africa. So if you're getting that from Africa, you're getting the diesel from Africa. So how would you get that in here? Because you need the transport. The transport again, you're gonna to have to pass through Europe. You're gonna to have to pass through uh like, 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 there's ports, you know, like Amsterdam, uh, uh, where's, where's it, Amsterdam, and take it all the way through Germany and other places as well. There's many, many things you can't just pass through, you know, the custom unions, and you don't know anything about the custom unions. You have to pay a tariff, you know, uh, it costs you a lot of money. And um, many of the guys don't know that because we don't live, you know, in isolated island. Cause, well, of course, we live in an island, but the island, then there's a lot of people neighboring that. But in the water, you got France, you got Belgium, you got you got another that's because most of the ships go through that when they when they cross over, they come to Gibraltar, and some of them come to uh, what is it, Amsterdam or or Rotterdam, 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 I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm not sure where it is, but you need to know that they go through that area, and then you're gonna have to pay money for the European Union to pass through. Maybe that's why the holdups is has been. It's been caused by those kind of things because there's a lot of holdups at the moment, even in China, uh, here, and many places. But you guys know a lot of people that will drive, uh, you know, they drive a car and that they they're just getting upset. They can't get to work early because they know there's a diesel shortage. 
there's you know what I mean patrol 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 so so no I told you guys I told you you know Brexit is remainers things things are going to I think is going to get tar terribly bad what do you think guys terribly bad for you guys if you drive I think I, I personally I need I need to if I go to the petrol station right now I don't find the things I need to get to work some people want to get to work on time but the shortages are caused by that but you know Brexit is Remainers, you know, told you, remain at home, do you know what I mean? And also, you have the pandemic, COVID-19 as well, caused a lot of things like that as well, guys. Unfortunately, we, we can't really do better than that, guys. But I think maybe, maybe you're going to have to wait another till the end of the year. And then situation might, might, might not going to improve until the end of the year or before that as well. Give it until 2022, 2023. And then at the time, I think so. 2022, 2023, 100%. You know, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a rant, but I think that's that's true because the diesel shortage is serious, guys. It's serious. You're gonna have to walk it, man. Hundred percent. You're gonna have to walk it home. Or some guys are gonna have to do ten toes now and for whatever. If you don't, or at least you're gonna have to wake up early every time. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't have that, you're gonna have to stack up. You have to stack up a lot of gallons. Do you know what I mean? Get your gallons up and pull them at home. To you know, go go there and get your diesels early. You know, the Tesco, you should go to Tesco's. Uh, Tesco's one, the petrol station by t t Tesco's. But also, they're all closed down. They have closed them down. Some other places have closed them down in Asda and not uh, and that. You know, BP. I speak to BP and let them know. BP, British Petroleum Company. They they're gonna say to you 100% there's a diesel shortage. But the diesel uh, shortage is being caused by that. Yeah, you need to get to work early. If, uh, you're gonna have to plan everything, plan everything. Oh, if you've got kids as well, you're waiting for bonfire, bonfire. You need to buy them. You need to order it from China today, yeah. Before the bonfire, bonfire work really the fifth of November. So order your bonfire, your fireworks today, from now because it's gonna take a long time to come over because you don't have to wait for these guys. If you work for them, it's all being caused by Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. Some people say no, 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 really, no. Mr. Sharp said that. Uh, no, no, it's not being caused by Brexit or anything like that because there's another thing. But I think probably that's an excuse. Probably that's the things that basically just to cover up what has been going on at the moment. There's a lot of talks behind, you know, with with the EU at the moment. But European Union, they're not happy. And some of the guys, they're not happy as well with the situation. Brexit is. Remainers. I told you what happened. Do you know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to, what you're going to have to do, just think about it, you know. Yeah, fingers crossed for what is going to happen for the next uh, year. Let's say give it another year, and then situation might improve, so might not improve. And yeah, if you've got a car, you need to park it up, park it in a garage, and then see what happens. And then uh, the guys that you know, the kids, you want to tell you're waiting for fireworks for a bonfire. Unfortunately, tell your mum, tell your daddy to buy them early. All right, guys, bless, bless, family, stay blessed, family.